General Motors is once again in the spotlight, this time for trying to rebuild the reputation of its V8 powertrains after a massive 900,000 vehicle recall that shook both the industry and loyal truck owners. With a new generation of V8 engines under development, GM aims to prove that lessons have been learned and that reliability, performance, and longevity will define the next chapter of its powertrain legacy. But the question remains, will this new V8 engine truly fix the problems that led to one of the largest recalls in GM's modern history? The recall that rocked GM's V8 reputation. To understand the significance of the new engine, we first need to revisit the reason behind GM's recent troubles. The massive recall, affecting Silverado, Sierra, and several full-size SUVs, centered around the company's 5.3-liter and 6.2-liter small-block V8 engines. These power plants, specifically the L84, 5.3L, and L87, 6.2Ls, were known for their strong performance and efficiency thanks to advanced technologies like dynamic fuel management, DFM. However, these same systems became the root of the problem. Owners reported loud ticking noises, engine knocking, misfires, and in some cases complete engine failure. The culprit? Faulty lifters in the cylinder deactivation system an issue so widespread that it forced GM to recall over 900,000 vehicles and re-examine the future of its V8 design. The mechanical defect was traced to the lifters responsible for enabling or disabling cylinders in the name of fuel efficiency. These lifters could collapse or seize, leading to broken pushrods, bent valves, and catastrophic internal damage. For many customers, the experience severely damaged their trust in GM's reliability claims. GM's new V8, the next generation solution. Enter GM's new V8 engine family, a clean sheet redesign that aims to address those past failures. While the company has remained secretive about full specifications, insiders and engineers have revealed that the new small block generation will focus on three pillars. Mechanical simplicity, advanced materials, and consistent power delivery without unnecessary complexity. Unlike its predecessor, the new engine reportedly ditches the controversial cylinder deactivation technology that caused so many problems. GM appears to have finally acknowledged that the fuel economy gains weren't worth the reliability trade-offs. Instead, the new design focuses on refined combustion efficiency, improved thermal management and lighter components to achieve better real-world mileage without compromising durability. Experts close to the project have mentioned that GM is implementing a fixed lifter design, eliminating the risk of lifter collapse entirely. Combined with stronger valve springs and improved oiling pathways, these changes should ensure smoother operation and fewer moving parts to fail under load. Engineering Insights Learning from Mistakes Powertrain specialists say that GM's engineering department took a hard look at how competing automakers solved similar challenges. Ford's 7.3 Le Godzilla V8 and Stellantis's new Hurricane Inline-6 both deliver robust performance without relying on risky cylinder deactivation systems. Instead, they emphasize simplicity, forced induction, and modular architecture. GM learned the hard way that complexity doesn't always equal progress, says Mark Davidson, an independent automotive engineer who's worked with OEM powertrain testing teams. The new V8 seemed to follow a philosophy closer to what Ford did with the Godzilla. Big displacement, rock-solid valve train, and reliability-first engineering. GM is also reportedly leveraging new metallurgy techniques for crankshafts and connecting rods, two components that faced microscopic fractures in some previous designs. With stronger forged steel and more precise machining tolerances, the company aims to prevent the internal weaknesses that previously led to recall triggering failures. Another critical improvement is in the oil management system. GM has redesigned oil galleys and increased flow capacity to prevent starvation in high load conditions, a common issue that contributed to lifter wear in earlier models. These subtle but essential improvements could drastically extend engine life and reduce maintenance costs. The return of trust truck owners are watching. For many GM truck and SUV owners, the new V8 represents more than just an engine. It's a test of trust. The recall cost GM not only hundreds of millions of dollars in repairs, but also long-term loyalty among Silverado and Sierra buyers. Truck enthusiasts value dependability above all else. 
When your truck is your daily workhorse, a failed engine isn't just inconvenient, it's devastating. GM knows this, and the company's leadership has been vocal about restoring that lost confidence. In a statement from GM's powertrain division, engineers emphasized a renewed focus on engineering resilience and mechanical transparency, meaning every component is designed to withstand real-world stress with fewer hidden weaknesses. This new philosophy signals a major cultural shift inside GM, prioritizing long-term durability over marketing gimmicks. Balancing power and efficiency. Of course, no V8 redesign would be complete without performance upgrades. Early prototype data indicates that GM's next-generation V8 will push power figures well above 4 and 20 horsepower in naturally aspirated form, while still meeting strict emissions and efficiency standards. Experts suggest that improved direct injection calibration and variable valve timing optimization will allow the engine to breathe more efficiently across the rev range. These updates are expected to produce stronger low-end torque, perfect for towing and hauling, while maintaining smoother highway cruising at lower RPMs. Moreover, GM is reportedly exploring hybrid assist systems for its V8 lineup. This doesn't mean full electrification, but rather mild hybrid setups that can provide electric torque fill, regenerative braking, and smoother start-stop operation. This move could help GM bridge the gap between traditional combustion and future electrified platforms. Lessons from the 900K Recall The recall crisis taught GM a valuable lesson about the dangers of over-engineering. Trying to push the boundaries of technology for marginal fuel savings came at the expense of reliability, something that can cripple even the most respected brands. Experts agree that GM's new approach seems more pragmatic and customer-focused. Instead of chasing efficiency through mechanical trickery, the company is now optimizing combustion efficiency and component durability. It's a smarter, more sustainable path forward. GM has the engineering muscle to build bulletproof V8s, says Tony Caldwell, a veteran powertrain analyst. The recall was a wake-up call that they needed to return to their roots, building engines that last 300,000 miles, not engines that try to impress with complex systems that don't hold up. Competitive pressure, GM's new V8 also enters a fiercely competitive market. Ford continues to dominate with its naturally aspirated and hybrid V8s, while Stellantis is transitioning from Hemi V8s to twin-turbo inline-sixes. Meanwhile, Toyota's iForce Max twin-turbo V6 is redefining expectations for efficiency and torque. To stand out, GM must offer a compelling mix of raw power, bulletproof reliability, and real-world performance. If they can pull that off, the new engine could re-establish GM as the benchmark for American V8s, something enthusiasts have been waiting for. Final thoughts. A second chance for GM's V8 legacy. The upcoming GM V8 isn't just another engine. It's a redemption project. After the embarrassment of a 900,000 unit recall, GM is determined to prove that its engineering team can still build world-class powertrains. Everything points to a cleaner, tougher, and more reliable engine design. By eliminating risky components, improving internal strength, and adopting a durability-first mindset, GM may finally deliver the modern V8 that enthusiasts and work truck owners deserve. Ultimately, whether this new engine fixes GM's recall disaster depends on one thing, real-world performance over time. If the company can demonstrate consistent reliability, strong towing performance, and smooth operation for years without failure, it could mark a true turning point in the brand's V8 history. For now, all eyes are on GM's next move, because this time, they can't afford another mistake.